hair is always stuck in everything. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am here with your Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. We had company today. Two of our aunts came to visit. Your aunts. Okay, so today we're going to be reading Revelation chapter 10. It doesn't talk about the seventh angel with the seventh trumpet that sounded and what's going to happen with it. Maybe tomorrow for that one. But this one's about the angel and the little scroll that happens before that. Okay, so let's read Revelation chapter 10. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven. He was robed in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun and his legs were like fiery pillars. He was holding a little scroll, which lay open in his hand. He planted his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and he gave a loud shout like the roar of a lion. When he shouted, the voices of the seven thunders spoke, and when the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven say, Seal up what the seven thunders have said, and do not write it down. Then the angel I had seen on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven, and he swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens and all that is in them, the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it, and said, There will be no more delay. But in the days when the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished, just as he announced to his servants the prophets. Then the voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me once more. Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, take it and eat it. It will turn sour. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then I was told, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages and kings and that was John they were talking to remember all right so that was Revelation chapter 10 that's where we're going to stop there and now we're going to read Psalm 138 it is a Psalm of David I will praise you Lord with all my heart before the gods I will sing your praise I will bow down toward your holy temple and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness. For you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame. When I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. May all the kings of the earth praise you, Lord, when they hear what you have decreed. May they sing the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly. Though the lofty, he sees them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the work of your hands. Amen. And that was Psalm 138, I believe, isn't it? Yes, of David. All right, now we're going to read our Proverbs, ending today's Bible reading. Proverbs chapter 30, verses 11, 12, 13, and 14. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. Those who are pure in their own eyes and yet are not cleansed of their filth. Those whose eyes are ever so haughty, whose glances are so disdainful. 
those whose teeth are swords and whose jaws are set with knives to devour the poor from the earth and the needy from among mankind. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Let's go ahead and go to our question from yesterday, which was, what were the names of the two cities, the two cities God destroyed because the people in them were so evil? There's been movies about this, songs, all kinds of things. And that was back in Abraham's time, remember? That was back in the Old Testament. Though it's still talked about here and there in the New Testament from time to time, you know, as a reference. And the answer is Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, and today's question is this. It has something to do with that. Who in the Bible was turned into a pillar of salt and why? Who in the Bible was turned into a pillar of salt and why? That was also back in Abraham's time. Let me give you a hint. It was part of Abraham's family. And it has to do with Sodom and Gomorrah. Alright, so that is the question for tomorrow. Let's go over our prayer requests real quick. Or our next Bible reading. I say, you know, God willing, because we never know what tomorrow may bring. All right. Please keep the following people in prayer. Lonnie Dulles Jr. and family. Jimmy Myers. Rhonda Karshner and Abby Myers. Matthew Simpson. Sherman Crabtree. Layla and Layla's son. Michelle Watkins. Judy Thompson. Cindy and Jim Welsh. Dora Carper. Garnet Boyer. She had her biopsy done, but they probably won't know for sure until like around the 26th or so if it is cancerous, but the doctor and everyone else already thinks probably 99% 9 that it's cancer. Hey, but that's totally up to God, right? There's miracles. We just need to pray and pray for the best. Randy Post, Barb Post, Melody Stanley, April and Linda Thacker, and Norman Karshner. Okay, everyone, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.